Every time I film in this location, I feel like I'm making an apology video. Yes, my nails are still painted from my last video. They're kind of growing on me. Anyways, that's not the point. You probably read the title and really just took a step back and you were like, Jordan, what? So yeah, this this is quite the story and I'm telling it because I'm not normally, I'm not the type to quickly click with uh, other men. I haven't had a love life at all throughout my life. I'm almost 20. I've never dated anyone. I've had very, very little male interaction action, but this is one of those times, and I thought it would be a good story time. Um, it's kind of weird, but you know, you subscribed, not me. So before I get into the story, let me let me paint the picture for you so you feel like you're there with me, okay? So every year, my mom, my sister, my close friend Abby and I, we all go on vacation to Arizona. This has become like a tradition, sort of. I've gone on vacation in Arizona at least for four years now, and every time I go to Arizona, something weird happens, like some weird sh and this story occurred about two years ago. So I was around 16, 17. Keep in mind, I was ugly, like extremely not that cute. My hair was long and dark. My sense of style wasn't even there. I remembered this night I was wearing a blue hoodie, but it was the type to have like tribal print on the pockets. And I was wearing, I think, khaki shorts and flip flops. Just wanted to put that into your head. I wasn't the cutest person in the room. So one night on my trip, we all decided that we wanted to go out for dinner. So we Ubered out. We had a restaurant in mind where we wanted to go because my mom was meeting friends there. At first, we went to the wrong restaurant. I don't know why. I think it was the same restaurant, but it wasn't the right one that we needed to go to. So we got back in the Uber and we went to the real place that we were meant to be at. I have the name of the restaurant, but I don't think I'm going to say it because I don't want to get sued. So we get to the restaurant and we wait to be seated. Let me describe this restaurant for you. Since Arizona is hot most of the time, it was one of those restaurants where some of it was indoor and some of it was like outdoor, like a patio. I don't know why my camera is so crooked. So the inside looked like a pretty normal restaurant. And then on the outside portion, there was a bunch of ping pong tables and like little chairs you could sit at. And then on one side of the restaurant, there was a bunch of barn doors you could like open up to get into the parking lot. I don't think you're supposed to use them. I think they were meant for decoration, but at least one of them was open. So just keep that in mind. On the outside portion, there was like hundreds of like hanging lanterns. That was the light source outside. It was like moving. So we sat down and we ordered. I think we had some like steak. Oh, and it had bomb ass cheese on it. That's what it was. Like little flakes of cheese on it. So good. Um, so while we were eating, my mom was catching up with her friends. I was talking to Abby and we were sitting at the table eating for about like 30 minutes. We were really into our meals. And then after the 30 minutes, I finally got up to pee for the first time. So I got up, went to the bathroom, I peed. And then as I'm coming back to the table, this is where the story starts to get interesting. As I'm coming back to the table, a waiter catches my eye walking towards me like in the opposite direction and I see that he's hot as fuck. And as we're walking past each other, he looks at me, he winks, and he smiles. And at first I really didn't think anything of it until I got back to the table and was like, wow, that guy was hot as fuck and he just winked at me. Okay, and to give you a little reference of what this guy looked like, if you guys have ever seen the movie Nerve, I'll put the character right here. I forgot the actor's name, but that's what he looked like. That's like the best reference that I could use for him. So he was really, really attractive. So I sat down and I told Abby about what just happened. I'm like, sis, he winked at me. And then after I told her, I was trying to like find him in the restaurant to point him out, but he was like serving other tables. So he he was occupied, but I managed to point him out to Abby. She saw him. And then after that, we were trying to like get his attention in a way, but without trying to cause a scene. Because remember, my mom and her friends were sitting right next to us. So finally, him and my friend Abby make eye contact while he's like walking across one of the aisles. Abby looks at him, points at me, and winks like hi wing woman how are you so after she winked at him i think he was slowly getting the idea so as he's like walking around serving tables i'm constantly seeing him look at me while he's walking instead of like looking in front of him while he's walking around the restaurant he's just staring at me and i'm obviously staring back at him because 
hi. So then he comes over to our table. Keep in mind, he wasn't even our waiter. He wasn't at our table once before this moment. He comes up and he asks if we need anything at the table. He looks at Abby, looks at me, smiles. And this is the part where my palms actually started to sweat. Like imagine me, 16 year old me sitting there, palms sweating with a hot waiter looking me up and down. And keep in mind, I was ugly. I don't know what he saw in me, but he saw something. So after that, he went away for a little bit. He was doing his job. So Abby says to me, hey, I need to go to the bathroom, but I don't know where it is. So we both get up. I lead her to the bathroom. And I didn't have to pee at this point because I literally just went to the bathroom. So I'm standing outside both bathrooms on my phone, not looking up. I'm in the zone. And I see a figure in my peripheral vision walk by me. I can tell it was the waiter from his shirt color. And I see him open up the boy's bathroom. He stands there with the door propped open like this. And keep in mind, I'm still on my phone, not looking at him because I'm nervous as f And I act like I didn't see him because like the whole bathroom thing, that that's a lot. You know, I, I wasn't ready for that. In my head, I'm like, your mom is literally in the same restaurant as you. Don't go in the bathroom. Just don't. So we get back to the table and we start brainstorming. I'm thinking, okay, I need to get him my number somehow, but he's working. So how are we going to do this? And as we're thinking of ways that I could write down my number and give it to him, Abby remembers that literally when she was in the bathroom, she remembered looking on the toilet paper holder and seeing a pen and for some reason taking a mental note of the pen even though she didn't need it in that moment and then she remembered it once we're brainstorming how we were gonna do this so she's like oh my god there's a pen in the bathroom I'm gonna go get it so we get up go to the bathroom again she goes in grabs the pen comes out and we're like okay well what now we need something to write the number on I look around and I see on one of the what are they called waiters will go to like get a receipt from well there was one right by the bathrooms and I see a receipt roll of like receipt paper so I unroll it a little bit and I I rip some off and we go back to our table and I write my number on that piece of paper. We go over to the ping pong tables and we set down the pen with the number wrapped around it on, I think, the table right next to us because we wanted him to grab it without making it sus that I was giving him something. And he makes eye contact with me and he looks at the pen. So I'm like, okay, he knows, he knows. So we can see that he's cleaning up at the front. So we start playing ping pong to like pass the time. And after a while, I was like, where is he? Like, where did he go he's literally right next to us in the restaurant just a little far from us but he's sweeping and we see he's inching closer and closer to the ping pong tables and this is funny because there was no one in the restaurant and the floor wasn't even dirty he was just sweeping just to like get over to us in a stealthy way so he finally comes up to the ping pong table with my number on it and he looks at it and goes you want me to take that for you and i look at him and i'm like mm-hmm because I don't know how to communicate. So after he gets the number, he goes into the back room for a little bit. We're playing ping pong, it's kind of quiet. While this is all happening, my mom's sitting at the bar with her friends. So she's distracted while this is happening. As we're playing ping pong, I feel a buzz in my pocket. And I kid you not, I think, I think I shit myself. I look up and I see him at one of the registers looking up at me like, and I look at the text and I'm gonna change his name for obvious reasons. I'm gonna name him Tony. So the text said something around the lines of like, hi, my name's Tony, nice to meet you. This is kind of weird, but just to let you know, I'm not out yet. None of my friends or coworkers know that I'm gay. So then immediately I was like, oh that's why he's really like stealth mode about this right now so we go back and forth between the text for a little bit i wish i had the text so bad but they're on my old iphone 5c that literally broke into like three pieces so those texts are gone they're obliterated we'll never see them again but just just trust me with this abby my sister and me are still we're all still playing ping pong i wasn't really thinking this was gonna go anywhere so i kind of took my mind off it a little bit so we kept playing ping pong my mom's still at the bar with her friends she's has no idea what is going on and i get a text that says want to meet outside i was speechless i was like oh this is happening okay and 
of course my 16 year old head ass self said yeah sure what he meant by going outside he didn't want to go out the front doors but he wanted to go out the side where the barn door like opened and it let you like go into a side parking lot i guess for some reason it was open so if you were in the restaurant you could easily just walk out there so i leave my sister and my friend abby i'm like bye guys <laughs> wish me luck if mom comes over like please tell her i'm like in the bathroom throwing up you know so i walk outside and i'm like looking around it's like really dark outside i'm confused i'm like where is he and I hear a little, hey, come from the right side of me. So I look over and I see a silhouette in the darkness. So I go over to him and we formally introduce ourselves instead of having to like sneak around. We talk for about like three minutes and I'm really nervous at this point, not because of him. I'm just nervous that my mom is gonna come outside and see me standing with a random person out in the parking lot. So I said, well, it was nice meeting you, but I'm gonna go inside to my friends. They're probably confused as to where I am. And right as I'm about to turn around, he says, well, don't you want to kiss me first? This was the moment that I knew I was in deep. It all happened so fast. Right as he said that, he leans into me and we start making out. We started making out behind the restaurant when I was 16 and I looked like that. So it went on for about like 15 seconds. I don't really remember it because I blacked out like completely. I was so in shock. And I finally pulled away and I was like, oh, Okay, cool. So as he was leaning in for more, I kind of like pulled away a little bit because um, I'm a fetus and I'm a child of God. And my mom was literally 30 feet. Like, I need you to picture this. If you were looking at the restaurant from above, me and my mom were 30 feet apart. And she had no clue I was out in the parking lot making out with a waiter. So I go back inside and I instantly burst into laughter out of shock. So I sat there with Abby and my sister in shock for about like 10 minutes, just kind of like, oh. Oh, okay. Then we go over to my mom to see how she's doing. And my mom looks at me and she goes, why do you look frazzled? And I respond with like, oh, <laughs> I don't know. And then I remembered before the night was over, I texted him something along the lines of like, it was nice meeting you, blah, 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 blah. And then he never responded ever again. And then after I got home from vacation, me and my friends decided to call him up because I still had his number in my phone. Hey, is this Tony? And he responds with, who's Tony? So I don't know what happened with that. Life's crazy, you know, it, you just never, know what's gonna be thrown at you you really never know all right so i hope you enjoyed me oversharing. that's probably one of my weirdest stories that i have like ever but you know i was like why not tell it to the internet um i'm gonna go i hope the story doesn't give you too many nightmares and i hope you have a wonderful day or night whenever you're watching this and i'll talk to you guys later all right love you bye